Okay, so I'm gonna test Blender 4.1 on this MacBook machine. I'm gonna share with you first what uh, is this MacBook, what version, which version. Click on about this Mac, and this is the MacBook I'm using. MacBook Pro 16 inch chip M3 Pro, 18 gigabytes. It's not mine, by the way, it's my friend MacBook, but I asked him if I can borrow his MacBook to test for Blender and also create some tutorials because he's using another computer. So I'm gonna test this. I hope it's not um, affecting this MacBook because I know Blender is really powerful. I worked in Blender not for a lot of time, so please, if you have feedback, you want me to test to change some of the some of the settings in Blender, so you get their different results. You want to see the way it works in the viewport. Just let me know in the comments section, please. I'll create other short tutorials or tutorials to show you how it works Blender on this MacBook. Because I hope you can make, because I want you to make a good decision purchasing this, if it's worth purchasing this MacBook for Blender. Now, right off the bat, of course, you get better results on the, with the Windows MacBook, uh, with the um, Windows laptop with uh, 4080, 49, of course. But, you know, maybe you can still get good results with this laptop with uh, the, with the macbook so you also get good battery and all, everything else also so now let's let's click on uh, download and here we have two options blender 4.1 with upper silicon of course and now click on actually already download this so it's just uh, waiting here and let's just wait and uh, please, as I said, let me know in the comments section about uh, what you want me to try. Now here, good project knowledge, some projects I'd like to try. So I'm just going to look through to see where are the projects, docs. Okay, I'll just ask my friend where I can find the project so I can show you how it works. And some really, really powerful projects that need a lot of really good machines. Okay, so here are the projects I'll test. Now, also like to mention something. Let me leave your comments down below, your thoughts, if you agree with me. But I think it's not really important if this will render in three hours, three minutes. It depends on the rendering speed. I th that doesn't really matter for me personally because I can put the last, you know, the MacBook running, uh, rendering, and I can sleep on overnight. But that is not an issue for me. I, what I want is just that in, while I'm zooming, working the viewport, you know, it's not uh, lagging, it's not crashing that much. That's what I want. So, that being said, it's not really important for me. For me, it's just that it doesn't lag while I'm, you know, creating, working. And so, that's what I'm, uh, if I buy, buy a MacBook, if it's worth it, it's probably, probably I'll just look for, I don't know, maybe a PC or a MacBook, I'll see. But for now, I can test on this one. So let's first test. Also, let me know in the comment section which one of these should I test the most and the other programs you will want me to test. So now, first one, I think this one uh, looks for uh, this, chi this uh, cozy chicken, uh, kitchen, sorry. <laughs> and uh, let's open this one. Okay, apparently, I don't even know how to open this. Okay, so I'm sorry, yeah, I forgot to download the Blender. No issue, now I'll download this. And uh, now I should be able to open this. Open. Now this is opening in Blender. I haven't opened Blender in probably four months or so. I used a different machine, different laptop with the 3050. I still have that in laptop, but now that's not uh, wasn't that powerful. But as you can see now here. Okay, so here's this uh, project I just downloaded, and uh, as you can see, it's actually loading quite fast. And of course, here in settings, I change this in preferences in system i change this to metal okay. 
Let me know, as I said, in the comment section if you want me to try something specific. EV, of course, this is faster now, but it's loading now. But it still takes time to load. It takes quite some time. And uh, I click on render image, or I could, but still, just as I said, I think what's important. What I believe that's important now, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section is the way it moves in the viewport, if it's laggy, that's what it's important for me. So, um, so and that's what is important now. Now it's not really fast. I'll say in the viewport, it's kind of the same time it is now it's, hmm. You tell me guys if, if you think this is fast, if it's good for for Blender, for working in Blender on a MacBook. Of course you'll get better performance with a Windows machine or with a, um, with the laptop, even a laptop you can get the good performance. Now, if I want to, I can click on render image. It's time, I can see here the time remaining, about peak, we can see here remaining in time. It's a rendering. I don't believe the laptops, but uh, But yeah, we can click on here now, allow, and uh, sorry, that's the video. But uh, yeah, I don't know the performance. You guys tell me in the comments. I don't, I'm not really proficient or advanced enough on. I haven't worked that much on Blender, only for a couple of months for basic stuff. But yeah, it could be better, you know. Uh, that's for sure. Performance is not really amazing, I would say. I don't know. But yeah, I'll leave uh, leave in the comment section if you have any any questions or things I should change here. Oh, here we have the maximum samples. We can increase this. For sure, it takes time to load every single time you work you change something you change the view system full here metal but yeah i don't know exactly what other things i should change so i can test just that's why i'm asking you to leave suggestions in the comment section so yeah that's the video please leave your suggestions in the comment section what should i try why should I change? So yeah, thanks for watching.